decoder wise there's probably only four manufacturers I would ever think of buying from. Now I'll start off with again Digitrax. Um, almost everybody buys Digitrax decoders. Nothing wrong with them. They're really good uh, and they're really economical. What I recommend for you guys for your first engines or whatever you're getting is a DH123. This is a renowned $20 decoder that started the $20 decoder thing, I guess you could call it, or the rave, whatever. But yeah, it has uh, your basic motor functions, front and rear light, and it has two extra lighting functions, which is really, really cool. I use that all the time in ditch lights, but you can program flashing ditch lights. That's really cool. Or beacons, strobes, uh, like gyro lights or Mars lights or something. I use that all the time with this. The two problems I have with these decoders are first of all the wires and the harnesses. The harness right there, once you put that thing in it's almost impossible to get out of the decoder. At least for me that is. I have to pry it with the screwdriver and stuff without pulling the wires out right, like of the thing right there. And that's just like really really bad because you can break decoders like that. Second thing is the um, actual internals of it. I've had maybe three to four Digitrax decoders entirely stop working while they were running. I had trains running for maybe 10 minutes without touching them. The decoders stopped working, the engine stopped or actually like went out of control or that that is like you couldn't control it and the decoders never worked again resetting them everything they don't work I guess you could add a third thing to that and that is the customer support you can't send these in to get um, a refund for them so yeah if they would figure out those uh, three issues I had this would probably be my number one recommended decoder but we're gonna save that for the last product we look at Let's look at what NCE has to offer. For NCE, the one thing I have to recommend is the D13 SRJ. That's the D the that's the D13 with the plug on it. I think that's a nine pin plug. Um, it does not say. Oh yeah, it is nine pin right there. Okay. So yeah, I would get that. Now, there are a couple problems with this. Again, the harness, like the Digitrax, is not that good. The customer service is a little bit better. If there was a uh, software issue, or if it just stopped for no apparent reason, like Digitrax, they will accept it for refund. But if you burn it out yourself by soldering wrong, or putting too many amps to it, or volts, or whatever, then it will be your fault, and they can't replace it. Another issue I have with this or one issue I have with this it is, is that the decoder itself does not have any wrapping on it. I could understand if that is to cut down cost, but once that board touches anything else in metal, it's done for. It's just going to burn out, and you can't replace things like that because they don't cover that kind of thing. So yeah, it is a very good price though, under $20, $19.95, and it has a full programmability like the uh, DH123 does and it's just a decent decoder. Now we're going to see what MRC has. Now through MRC what we're going to look at mostly is the sound decoders that they have. We're not going to look at the um, decoders they have like that because to be honest they're not really that good at all. They're really really bad. They um have a really bad price, 80 bucks for three of them, and they're basic decoders too. It's not like they're anything special. I could get four DH123s for that price. Uh, what we are going to look at is their sound decoders. These are a really good price, like really, really good price. And that's mostly what they're um, targeted to are price bias consumers. And what they have, or what they offer that is, is a lot of different decoders with some of them. Oh, there we go, okay. They have every sound decoder you could think of. 
they're mostly all drop in and they actually have two pages of them but yeah they just like drop into everything that you could think of mostly Atherin, Atlas and Lifelike but yeah now they're offering the 16-bit series with a bunch of different prime mover sounds as you can see $65 with the speaker baffle capacitor and everything that's a really really hard price to beat uh, Digitrack stuff does, I can't talk today, does have some things, but you have to program them with a separate computer programming unit to get the full features out of them. As compared to these, everything's preloaded. They have 36 horns and uh, like 14 bells pre installed, 5 prime mover sounds, and they're really, really good. Now let's move on to my number one most rated company of all time, I guess you could say. Of all time, I don't know. But that would be TCS. TCS is awesome. Like I said, I use their T1 decoders all the time. And I recommend them all the time. I recommend them for very, very good reasons. First of all is build quality. Build quality is awesome. The actual wires they have and use are really good. Never had any problems. They're long enough to reach everything inside the engine that you're going to need to reach and the harnesses too the harnesses are perfect they stay in once you plug them in that's what she said but they are really easy to get out too again that's what she said as compared to the Digitrax so they're a lot better in that aspect they're also smaller dimension wise they are um, I'll use mine here they're thinner that way it's going to focus on hand. There we go. It's thinner that way, and it's smaller lengthwise, and I think width is the same. But that can be something that can be really, really helpful. Say in this F unit here, this isn't actually true, but all you have is that little space. That will fit perfectly. A DH123 or a D13 SRJ is not going to fit back there. So, yeah, the size is a great thing. Another thing that's great about these decoders is the programmability. Now here's the instruction manual for this one. As you can see everything is perfectly laid out. If you want the front light, which is the white wire, to have a Mars light going forward only, you're going to program CV49 to 2. And that's all you have to do. And that rhymed. As compared to the ditch tracks, I'll show you right now. This, my friends, is the manual for all Digitrax decoders. Now, this is crazy. There's actually about 60 pages. I only have maybe half of it here. But, as you can see, it's just a bunch of random codes that's almost impossible to decipher. And it's really bad. Like right there. You have to figure out everything yourself. As compared to TCS, that everything is already done for you. And it's a lot better laid out. It's really, really good. You have to also print out this yourself at home. Or you can go on the website too, buy it and print it out. And it's just a huge hassle to try to figure out how to get flashing ditch lights. If you want to do that, it's not stated in the included manual as it is in the T can't talk, oh my god. In the TCS one it is, in Digitrax, like the normal one that comes with it, it's not explained. Nothing is explained at all other than like installing it. And that's it. So that is definitely why I recommend TCS. And the final thing, like I stated before, you can't beat TCS's goof proof warranty. You send any of their product in, let's go to T6X series. Like anything in that list, you can send it into their company and then with no questions asked, they'll send you a brand new one for free. Well, they test it first, obviously. If it still works, then they're going to send it back to you. But if anything is wrong with it, send it in and then they will send you a brand new one for free, which is really, really cool. I've used that a couple times, not that much. But the times I have used it, again, I got the product back within 10 days of shipping out the original one. And that's really good as compared to NCE. Well, NCE is okay. MRC is a lot better than MRC, and Digitrax has no warranty. 
at all, which kind of sucks. I actually think Digitrax does, but it's a huge long process to try to figure out something. If you go up here, I actually don't think they have or, or anything up there. But yeah, so this video has probably gone on for a long, long time now. But that was DCC for Dummies Episode 1, getting your first products that you're going to need. What I would recommend is getting the MRC Prodigy Express with a few TCS T1 decoders, or if you need them, get the NCE decoders as well. The specialty ones like for the Atlas S4 and that kind of thing. But yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. And stay tuned for episode 2 where we are going to explain how to prepare your layout for DCC. Thanks for watching.